hello everyone welcome to my gis learning channel in this video we learn how we can remove cloud effect and uh, cloud shadow effect from landsat 8 so let's start first i will select my study area so for this i will create a new variable let's say this one is aoi that is area of interest and if you search on google using this term you will see this website and go to this website from here let's copy this one and paste it here then then i have to filter the data so for this type this one dot filter dot equal first i will use this field name admin one name this is for uh, the name of administrative unit at first level so copy the field name and then i will type my study area name that is rajshahi and now you can add this layer to the map canvas by using this method map dot add layer and inside that you have to provide that variable aoi that is area of interest you have to center the map canvas using this ai map dot center object and provide that variable aoi then specify the zoom level you can increase or decrease the zoom level and now click on run to show the shape file of the study area so this is my study area now i will collect landsat 8 satellite data so first i will create a new variable let's say landsat landsat search the landsat 8 data here by typing this name landsat 8 then click on enter i will use this one landsat 8 level 2 collection to tier 1 data which is atmospherically corrected so click on this and click on import now in this variable landsat just copy the variable name and paste it here now i will filter the landsat collection type here filter date first one is start date and the second one is in date and you have to define the start and in variable here january 1 2 and the in date is so this is my time period and i ac actually want to collect the data within this time period now i will use filter bound to filter the data within this area of interest so for this type here filter bounds then this one area of interest let's print the data to see how many elements is selected now so type for land set and click on run here you can see total 140 elements are selected now i will filter the data again using this cloud cover uh, properties so for this type here filter then e dot filter dot less than okay then copy these properties cloud cover and i want this data where cloud cover is less than 95% let's say then click on run again now 
you can see 129 elements are selected now i will get the median value of these 129 elements to to reduce the cloud and shadow effect so for this type here median okay and you can now add this layer to our to this map canvas so for this just copy this and paste it here and uh, copy the variable name paste it here then click on run uh, now i am going to clip the satellite data using area of interest let's say clip then area of interest and click on run again provide the layer name let's say landset 8 okay click on run again to view the data in a natural color you can go to this option setting and then you have to select the red green and blue band from here go to the bands and you will see this red band is srb4 and the green band is srb3 and blue band is srb2 so let's select this one first one is red then green then blue states it to 98 percent and then click on apply here is the image visual parameter you can copy this and remove this empty parameter by that name and click on run again here you can see there is some issue with the cloud you can easily remove this cloud and in this step i will show you how you can remove this i have to create a function that is let's let's say cloud mask cloud mask and give it a name here then curly bracket first one is variable if you go to their website then click on bands you have to select in order to remove the cloud you have to select this band qa pixel and then you have to select this bit bit 3 for cloud and bit 4 for cloud shadow variable cloud and this one is one uh, less than less than first one is three and the second variable is cloud shadow is one less than less than four Let's create a new variable that is qa pixel is equal to image dot select from here using this print function you can see this option and then from here go to the band and you have to copy this then paste it here create a new variable let's say this one is mask now i will use a formula that is qa dot bit wise and first one is cloud select this one then equal to zero dot and then again copy this one and paste within this bracket and change this cloud to cloud shadow then dot equal zero then it return a new image that will be image dot update using this mask variable the zero indicate the absence of clouds 
so I am copying this and paste it here you have to add map function here let's say map then within this function copy this function name and provide it here from this method it will again filter all the satellite image using the start and end variable then area of interest and also use the cloud cover and then map function it is actually a loop it will select this QA pixel and then mask the cloud and cloud shadow and update the image uh, let's change this variable name to cloud free now we can add this to our map canvas using map dot add layer function and change this copy to this and rename the layer name which is cloud free now click on run so it will be it will be update mask this one now click on run again If you want to know detail about the algorithm, you can visit their website here. Go to band. So this is the algorithm name CF mask. That's it for this tutorial. Hope you enjoyed this one. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel.